Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're back with uh, a Curse of Oak Island review. I haven't done one since uh, the last season, so now we're on season eight. We're going to talk about episode four. We didn't do one for the first three episodes. Um, most of them, the first couple were mostly about the team getting back together and the coronavirus and them trying to you know, get everybody back together. So there really wasn't a lot to talk about the first couple. I mean, there wasn't a lot going on. Episode three we just missed, so right now we're on episode four. Uh, episode 5 will be airing uh, later tonight, so we'll be doing one for that. Uh, this one is, again, Season 8, eight Episode 4, so it's called Alignment. Mm. Um, the starts off with the, the, the group to get together, within a, and they're still trying to find out if there was a pine tar kiln on the island. Well, they think that they found something. And there was something what, was, what was the thing they found? What, the, the, the guy was digging? Yeah. The, they found um, a couple axes from, um, and uh, Gary believes that the axes were from around the 17th century. And um, that wasn't the first time they found the axes. Um, they found axes in um, oh, yeah. Law, yeah. law 32 and Law 15. Yeah, so they, they think they were very similar to the other ones. They, they weren't like large axes. They thought they were like, you know, stuff that cut down small small brush, small trees, stuff yeah. like that it wasn't, you know, really, actually were really the, for heavy duty cutting. And, and plus you could tell by by the way he showed it, the ax was small. Like if you were gonna cut a tree down, an ax is like this big to chop, to chop a tree down. That ax is pretty small, yeah. so, I mean, it's pretty, it's just interesting how, like he knows, like how the ax was made, where, how long it's been in the ground for it's just pretty cool how he knows yeah that. they said he saw the wood in them so i think you know, we're probably going to get the wood test to get to see how how old those axes are and i know they could they could date those just by using the wood but, you know most likely they should they should be doing it anyways um he didn't say but what he said the wood's still you, you would tell me that they're going to be able to uh date them somehow to see how old the axes are and how long they've been there for yeah. uh, rough roughly anyways um most and then most of the show centered around that this theory that there's uh, like a religion type of thing like a a menorah and a and a, and a star and and they intersects with the, um, the temple the, of yeah, Solomon yeah, the temple of Solomon and they had these locations that they were given um, that was supposed to be like the symbol of a menorah or whatever and they were gonna go investigate those two locations. To see if anyone was there. Um, one, they said they they took a core sample. The same doctor Spooner took a core sample to try to you know date it or whatever. He thought it was centuries old. Uh, I don't know really. I, the whole thing where they it's like a menorah and it, and if you go here because it's if you line up with the menorah and the and a star that something might be that I, I think think it's. A coincidence that something happened to be in one location because the other one they hadn't found anything yet. Is it? Oh, so they're gonna go to that building or whatever, that building or whatever it is. What building? Isn't that what you were just talking about? How no, long? no, no. I was talking about how did those guys would do tell them it that it intersects with the uh, the Temple of Solomon, which oh, is you know. Oh, okay. But yeah, they but they said so. They think it has something to do with Oak Island. I I don't think it really does. I think. That's what Jack can get conspiracy theory. I mean, I would think one location they did find something that was dug up, and they think it was from one of the um, <coughs> original hunters on Oak Island. It might have dug something up. So maybe there might be something there. I don't know. The other location, their bulldozer or, or, yeah. or excavator rather broke down, so they couldn't really find it. They supposedly found another bull. They found one, and they, it was, didn't really mean anything. Then they think they found another, but the the thing broke down so they couldn't find out they're supposed to get parts for it to get it fixed to find out if anything's there um, this whole episode was mostly revolving around the, the lo that location I think you know the team sometimes they, they kind of bounce around too much I mean I, I'm still they still keep talking bring up the money pit but they, they don't really go looking for it they don't really know they haven't really focused mm -hmm. so if I guess I go because of you know, COVID-19 and stuff they haven't been able to get you know, everything they going that they wanted to and they don't have much time this season they're going to be having I suppose the, um, a, a lot of what do they call it like a honeycomb thing yeah but not till next year because they said they're not going to have time to run out of time before they do it 
Yeah. They try to put it in the money pit area, so to see if they can find anything there. I mean, I think they, they maybe they just doing what they can because of coronavirus and not having as much time. I don't know, but they keep bouncing around from one location to another, and I think it caused them to get spread, and nothing really ever becomes of I mean, they've I mean, if the biggest thing that's happened is Gary finding axe handles and buttons and, and if finding a coin in the ground is it's like, you know, the biggest thing that they've done. I mean, they think that says all they think they need to start focusing more on just sticking to one thing. But I right now I can kind of see where it's a shortened season. They're not going to be able to get as much done. Mm-hmm. But it was, it's going to be interesting in the next episode if, you know, when they drain that uh, that area, if they find anything there. Yeah. Or if it's just a coincidence and there's really nothing there, and it's close to the swamp where they said they've already, they you know they've already found some stuff in the swamp or whatever. Yeah. Um, you also forgot to mention too they found um, the boulder with the mysterious X mark on it. Well, they thought they that they, they thought the X might have been from the excavator, but that's why they were excited to find there was another boulder in the hole. But unfortunately, the excavator had a leak, so they couldn't keep going. They of course they. Said it, it, it's part of the curse of Rock Island that the thing happened to break because it was very unlucky. But I don't know, I think it's just one of those things that that happens with because the machine. But but they said the boulder that's in inside could lead to something, but they're not sure. So they have to wait till the excavator gets the hydraulic line fit and repaired, and they can go forward with it. Yeah, they keep thinking that they got to find something, and they you know they think it's gonna be another tunnel, you know, or leads to a tunnel. Like that thing they found at the beginning of, the, of this episode where they uh, pine uh, pine tar kiln they thought it was they all thought said maybe it was a, an entrance to a tunnel they keep they talking about entrance to tunnels but I, I don't know if that's gonna happen yeah. but they did find charcoal and they're gonna do to charcoal dating so so if they find charcoal dating maybe they'll give them an idea how old that that thing is um, but the point, they, again they, something else to wait for for the next episode. Yeah. Um, that was pretty much it from, from this episode. Yeah. I mean, again, it's going to be another <clears throat> long season of these episodes of finding minimal amounts of stuff. Like Gary's going to be the one who always gets excited about finding the miscellaneous stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this yeah. video. I just want to do a quick review for the uh, episode four. This one was called Alignment. And if it was uh, curious. I know some people, some of you guys like these videos, some people don't. But That's good. You know. If you like these videos, keep watching. You know, I'm sure we'll do some more depth to this one. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to do it. If you guys like this video, give us a like and subscribe. Put right. your comments down below. Until next time. There you go.